Hello, hello, hello. What's up, guys? So uh, I didn't trade today's New York session. So I'm going to replace uh, today's New York session with just like some analysis. And um, I have my friend pop on here, one of my good partners. Um, he does sports betting. He'll be hopping on here shortly. I have a small account with sports betting on Bovada. So, <clears throat> and uh, he, my friend, uh, he gave me access to this thing here, Action Network, and it, it, sports betting odds, news, insights, and analysis. It's pretty cool. I just basically bet. I go with the, the big money and pros, and only if they bet on the underdogs. So if I see that there's games and they're betting on the underdogs, that's how I bet because, you, you know, you can make more money that way. Yo, what's up, Rob? This is better now. What's up, Bat? What's up, bro? Um, uh, that dude sent me those plays. Um, oh, which one? The Nationals? He sent no, that one I did it myself, bro. That was yesterday, yeah. That was myself. Um, let's see here. yeah, because I already noticed I, I, I see what they do when like the underdogs lose. Mm -hmm. I see, I see the trends on what they do. So now during the games, like the, the, the plus money goes up disgusting, like. At a plus 180, plus 250. Oh, nice. And it's like, and it's like, like I'm so confident I can put them on like 500 to a G Pro and it'll hit for sure. Because I, I saw exactly what they do on, like with those games. Nice. Yeah, you, oh. yeah, you put 500 bucks on that, you make like easily two Gs or, or a little over the that. Damn, that's good. Yeah. So I, I saw what they do in regards to like for the under, underdogs to win. It, Hey, Sam, the Yankees. You can do the, like, he said, he said the first five, the Yankees and the Padres. You can do like a, you can do a, uh, a, uh, parlay. And parlay? Then I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, <clears throat> I think I, I think I have them or I don't know if I do actually. You said the Yankees and Padres? First five. Yeah. But you want to parlay, you want to put Uh, Pick up. <laughs> Let's see what bets I have open. I think I have that. Maybe I don't know. Let me see. This is today, yeah. Okay, so the, the Pirates that they're gonna win, Tigers are gonna win, Reds are gonna win, Diamondbacks are gonna win, Nationals. <clears throat> so you said. It's the first time winning. Oh, the. You said the Yankees. Yeah. Yeah, it's the first five, and the and the Padres are the first five. You just want to put them together so you can get plus one twenty seven. Okay. Um, 
Oh yeah, I bet I bet Pirates will win. So I can do Padres first five. I can still do that. Yeah, Padres first five. Okay. Oh, it's uh 185. No, no, 135. So you you just you Probably. put you put it you just put it together with the Yankees because we're not gonna go with the run line because the run line the first five it if it doesn't hit it usually ends up in a tie so if it ends up in a tie then you know we get that money back because he wants a he the, the the run line's cheaper but I just I don't I don't I don't like if it ends up in a tie I'm I'm, I'm no nah, I'm not I'm good on that. I already experienced too many fucking times where. I lost on that one like that, it's, and it makes no sense. So, so if you win, and then, and then you said the, because uh, I don't think I can find the Yankees. Oh, yeah, they're here now. Yeah, the Yankees, it's like the 11, 11 o'clock game. You said that, oh, the first five? Yeah, he said he said these are back, too. Last time out, and Drew Holiday has got to be that elite two-way force. So, oh, so if I parlay him, it's plus one two seven. Yeah, exactly. Nice, nice. He said it. He said it was back too. So it's like back. So it means like uh, you have some type of information, you know? Yeah. So basically, he's saying he's like super confident. Usually, I put I spend a good amount of money on those. For me, it's myself. I do that myself. You don't have to. Yeah, dude, the only, the way I've been, the way I, I do really well is by fucking, right. how I fucking just bet, how I, I, how I, I just, how I just been trading. What do you mean? Um, where, um, like by, uh, where let's say I put, I like, there's some games where I put a good chunk and then some that I don't like, I kind of like. It's uh, it's just it out, basically it's just going with a good flow. If I have a good, like a really good flow, like, I, I put a good amount of money, bro. You know, I don't know. I like how do I explain it? Um, I got you, man. Um, Shit, man. If it, if it works, it works, man. You know, that, that's that's the end of the day. Yeah, for me, like uh, to me, it's just like um, that. Well, obviously, now that I, when I make like make the money, I don't I don't go as crazy. You know, I just chill out. And then I'll do like all right day, and then if the all right day, and then I'll go follow like the next couple days, then I'll do fucking like waves, uh, huh? Like yeah. bigger ones, you know? Yeah. Because it's just like uh, to me, it's just like that's how I like, I don't know. I feel like capitalize a lot better, bro. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I, I think it, yeah, bro. Right? I mean, I think I, I, you know, like as long as you're making money, like you know, the way the hedge fund see it is quarterly results or sometimes but it, this is, yeah, for me, this is like, the, yeah, exactly. So I, like, I'm just seeing like where the results are. Cause I, I know when I was like minimizing it, it just like, I don't know. I don't really want to talk like too negative about it, to be honest with you, you know, like, I don't really want yeah, to speak yeah, good, that into existence. Um, but yeah, though you said those are back, so th- those should be good. He said, I, I placed it right now. I already placed it. I, he put, said, I, I put 10, 10%. If, he, if he doesn't go 2 0, the entire MLS season is free. Oh, nice. That's good. Huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, all crypto, all crypto got dumped yesterday. Like bad. I know. I saw, I saw, I saw the, the longs that I have open. I was like, oh, oh shit. my. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, dude, you got destroyed. <laughs> I, was, I know. I was like, damn. I was everything, like, everything recovered, though. It's back up. Yeah, you know, I know. I just like, I, I, I know how it goes, you know, but I was just like, God damn, you know? Yeah, but dude, really. Yeah, I know what it, I know. I know how it is, bro. That shit's insane. Dude. I wish I would have longed it, bro, because like all these went back up, like, uh, and they're really good prices to buy, bro. Very good, dude. I was like, what? You would have came up, huh? I would have came up so much money. I would have, yeah, I would have made at least a couple grand today. Why didn't you do it? Uh, because I'm just sticking with XRP. That's all I have in my head. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. Yeah, like I all I have, all I have right now is XRP, and everything else is already locked in. <clears throat> so I'm a, all my all my USDT is locked in on on trades already. 
So I'm just I'm just fucking busting in XRP trades. The basketball game's gonna start right now. Part of I just want to see. Uh, I don't know about like I'm not gonna get too crazy on it because I just want to see like how they're gonna how they're gonna go by games and how they're gonna you know like how the how they want the market to go. Yeah, it looks like MLB is kind of tough, right? I mean, uh, basketball right now, like, there's not even hey, games. Right? Look at, dude, I already, dude, the same thing with MLB. I just found out exactly how to hit it. Just like, you know, the one I sent you, the Giants one? Yeah, yesterday, right? Yeah, so um, that's one of them. But there's one, I actually lost the Cardinals one, right? Mm-hmm. So I lost the Cardinals one. I parlayed it with the under. The under hit, but I fucking lost because I, chose the Cardinals, I could have just gone with the under, but I mean, whatever, you know, I was super confident about it because the way I've been losing is by literally like the last inning, bro, you know? So, but then I started seeing the trends. I'm like, okay, why is this happening? Mm -hmm. So what they do is, uh, is they, they pull the, they'll pull the rug at the end, bro, on the, uh, with the underdog. And then that's how they come up. Oh. So if the game is close, I'm putting a shit ton of money on the underdog. What you say the game is close? Because the underdog's not supposed to, the underdog's not supposed to be with the like be up there with the big dog. So if the game is closed throughout the game, yeah, they're for sure gonna pull the rug. I could have put on another game, bro. I was gonna put a G because I knew it. My intuition was like, Robert, dude, this is gonna hit. I fucking know it. This shouldn't even be this close of a game. It was yeah. a Dodgers game to get the 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 um the Tigers, right? Oh, I think I bet it on them. Right, and, it was their be- and it was their best pitcher, bro. It was the best pitcher for the uh-huh. Dodgers. And the game was 1-1. I'm like, this shit makes no fucking sense. I was like, I, was like, I guarantee it, because I already saw the other the other trends of what was going on and how the other favorite team lost. Mm-hmm. So the same shit's going to happen here. And it was that plus 300, bro. I was going to put 1,000. Damn. And and because um, I was that, I was like, uh, I was like a thousand percent confident. Yeah, but that, plus three hundred is pretty good too. Damn, I was like, oh. huh? Plus no, yeah, and I was, I was, that, but that was that confident. But then I was like, no, dude, like, I, I was like, go with, go with what you said you're gonna do, and basically just look at the trends and not fucking, you know, trade on them, you know, just to see the patterns. Yeah. Um, so now that I know what comes around, I know exactly what to do. That's the same thing I did with basketball the other day. That's why I made a lot of money that day because I already know what they do, you know. So. It's just watching some of the games and then seeing what the fuck they're, they're gonna do with the market. So it's it's they're gonna they're gonna dump on everybody. It's it's kind of like same shit like with like with the freaking crypto market, bro. It's just yeah, it's, every, they're all going back up right it's now. Just, like, it's just it's just it's just knowing when to get in, dude. Honestly, it's the same thing. So yeah, dude, I'm excited because I was like, damn, bro, I'm gonna make a lot. We're gonna make a lot of money on this, right? Because I, I'm already seeing what what right. when it's gonna happen, you know, and it's like discussing juicy money bro yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm over it, bro <clears throat> did you put it on the notes uh yeah i put it in the notes already nice <sighs> er like er yeah you know like that way you can categorize it or whatnot or like have a you know like have it to where you already know it in your head but it's like putting it on paper too it really helps you know like fucking like I can show you, like I can show you, like one strategy that I, the the two strategies that I trade is uh here's one where like the price goes down, and then you know it goes up, and then I just put a line right here, a uh, trend line, and then as soon as I see the price break it, or like yeah. can you see it, you see how it starts breaking over here, going over here. As yeah. Soon as you start seeing it break, then you just go like you know a smaller time frame, and then you see, and then you see where uh, I'll give you an example right here. Here's one. It's going down, price broke it, and then wait for it to go down again, and then wait for one big bar. So break up, down, one big bar, place a buy. And you put the stop loss at the bottom, and it ends up going up. <clears throat> I have that on paper. I have it on there. So that way, just, just so you can have it on there, and just so you can, you know what I mean? like. Yeah, so you can remember everything. Yeah, I remember it, and then... um. Yeah, like you want to document everything. Fuck, but you know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, I realize that if you don't document nothing, it's like, it's like, Mex- okay, it's a good analogy, bro. Mexicans and 
it's the reason why white people are winning, bro. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know, they're like, whatever conspiracy there is, I think white people, well, I'm not, not saying winning, but like, <clears throat> whatever, you know, white people are doing good because they always have systems and processes, bro. Mexicans ain't got no processes. You go to Mexico, they ain't got no process over there. Everything's all dirty and nasty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. I was telling my mom a long time ago. It's like, you know, countries that, that are horrible is because they, they don't care about processes or systems. They're corrupt, but they don't have no process. You know what I'm saying? It's not documented. There's no, there's no like, hey, this is this. And, and even Grant Cardone's uh, scaling company, he has a company where they help you scale. Mm-hmm. And it talks about how like, the first zero to three million, it's like, I forgot what it was, you know, but, you know, after a certain amount, it's about systems and processes. And, um, and uh, all the biggest companies, it's called automation. You know, obviously they automate it and then they put technology. But once you get to, if you get to, get to 75 million and above, then you have to have like process systems and technology involved. Uh, and that like, that's successful people in any trader, bro, they all got, they all got, it's all processed and documented. You know what I'm saying? Like if we don't document things, we're just going to be like Mexicans. And we're both Mexicans, so we talk shit on them. But you know, yeah, obviously, yeah, these people true. are gonna watch the video. But true Mexicans. Uh, yeah, but you know, you know what I mean, though, bro. It's it's not it's not it, it's systems and processes is where it's at, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like having it documented, having it nice and well documented, and also like that's uh unless unless you don't want to get big and unless you don't want to become professional, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's, exactly. Because there's some people that don't. They don't want. They they they'd rather not become big and professional, and that's fine. I, I I'm definitely not in that group though. You know what I mean? I'm definitely gonna. Because then, if you have it documented, what can you do? You can write an ebook on it. You can write an ebook, and then that's how you can get you can get people to. to... Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Especially. Yeah. You have to. Especially with what we're doing. Like that's only yeah, where we're gonna bro. capitalize. Right. Uh. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna structure this thing and create an ebook off my my shit. Put my notes in there. Um. And then, uh, boom, you know what I'm saying? And then I can, I, I can, that's like a free lead magnet. It's a lead magnet where people can, can, uh, plug in and, or, or not plug in, but you know, you create it, you create it and it basically just does a job for you. You know, like I'm going to put also, um, like on the, uh, like what you can do, um, you know, for your videos on YouTube, you can, um, cause I'm going to put a, a link right here. We're, we're going to put all of our links, you know, to crypto, to all your crypto to, I'm going to put like for, for sports betting. You can put like fucking your affiliate link on your web on your videos, you know. It's, and, and all this is not gonna work right now, bro. It's when you get bigger, but you have to do it now, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. And then you can put your link right there, boom. You know, affiliate link, and then all of a sudden, say you got 100 subscribers, you got maybe 20 people out of those subscribers that follow that that use your affiliate link, and all of a sudden, you got some money coming in just through the affiliate link from people that sp- sports bet with your. And then after a while, you can be like, you know, fuck about water. Let's go to a, a, a broker that gives me better affiliate link money. Because I think there's some, like, like Bybit and those, those give you, those give you, uh, I have it in my link now. Those give you a certain amount of money based on how much someone trades. So you can keep on, you can get residual money. That's good. Yeah. But yeah, I shorted yesterday, bro. It was it was uh, it was pretty dope, actually. On the market, I showed it. Yeah, I was with Johnny. I, I showed him. Just show, just kind of showed him a, a, a strat, like another strategy because I do I use, I only do two two strategies and I showed him how how and and how it's working. Yeah. And I get very very good hit rates on those. And uh, oh uh, yeah, he, he he's 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 watching the the guy, or he's learning because again I sent him the video for it. It's really good. It's a very simple strategy, but it works very well. Yeah. Um, was he was he uh, trading with you too, or or is he was just watching? No, he he yeah yeah uh, he was he didn't trade he didn't catch a trade though um, with me, but uh, he was watching. Yeah, he was just there with me. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Um, Cause there wasn't really a, tra- based off his strategy, there wasn't a trade present at that time. So I was trying to teach him mine so he can see it. So 
So here's one. Here's here's one of the strategies. It's, it's gonna break. As soon as this thing breaks, wait for it to go down, and then you wait for a big green bar. Super simple. But XRP looks like it's going to go down to like 50 cents. Oh, really? Yeah. Should we go down to 50 cents? If you have any extra money, I would probably buy as much as you can. When is it going to go down to 50 cents? Uh, I'll say in May. It's okay. going to go up to right here. 50 cents. In May, bro. No later after, uh, after May. After May uh, is when we should be getting uh, June, uh, June and June and July. What's up, Johnny? How are you, man? How's it What's up, man? Can get some coffee? Nice little pump, pump. Huh? Oh, just one left. Yeah, dude. You see how? Hey, bro. Like, if we were, if we would have longed, look, look at the coins, bro. They're all back up and like. Like, imagine if you would have longed it, dude. <laughs> shit. Dude, I, I longed it. I longed it yesterday. Oh, um, you did. Nice. Uh, yeah, I longed it yesterday. And what, Bitcoin? Well, I'm sure Bitcoin, right? Yeah, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Nice. Um, but I only got a short little, because I, you know, I saw the divergence and all that. So I only got a short little pump. Um, mm -hmm. and, then, and then I took profits and then it closed me out on the, where it, uh, where it worked all the way down. Yeah. <laughs> and then they fucking pump. <laughs> hey, they're fucking they're they're beast, bro. They their algorithms are so good, dude. Yeah, dude. And then I was waiting. I'm like, okay, I, I kind of figured that was gonna happen. It's gonna be a console. Uh, you know, it's gonna consolidate for a little bit and then pump back up because of the uh, of the divergence, you know. And then it hit it hit a bunch of uh, supports. And I figured, bro, like I already I knew that was gonna happen, you know. And I should just, I mean, whatever, you know. I could have gotten in. I could just got in again. But I was just like, oh, whatever. Yeah. Hey, uh, well, what would you say? You, well, hey, man, what, what did you learn? What's like, it, it, that's just, I mean, go ahead. What, what would you say? No, about? yeah. I mean, I, I learned that uh, I, I, I was, I saw that coming. You know, I was, I always know there was going to be a fake out, a wick, a wick down uh, to, to catch those stops, the stop yeah. hunts, and then yeah. go back up. I, I, I saw that coming. So I should have just, I even put on my nose. So I should have waited for that to happen and then actually for the real move. And then, yeah. uh, go in there you know because but well, yeah. fucking yeah vol like yeah what i put on my notes is when you see volatility get the fuck out because like that shit is like drugs oh it is bro it's right. like drugs. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a drug bro you say like, it's like damn it's like it's like you're drunk it's like you're drunk and you're it's like you know hey bro, you know Rob, you, oh i mean like you know you got you got a girl but you know how Rob, you know, when we party you know when you get drunk and, and you're out and you know you do a bunch of blow you're trying to you, you're trying to fuck yeah <laughs> <laughs> you're, just, you're trying to bang anything out yeah you're trying to bang it <laughs> literally that's what happens when like volatility is going like when you see you go, you're like oh my god i'm trying to fuck anything right now <laughs> for real you're just trying to get and, in now. yeah bro and i've noticed it's yeah funny. that is that's the devil right there bro volatility yeah, bro. Is the devil, bro. And sometimes when that happens like it, it, you get like fuck you know you get wrecked Oh yeah, yeah. I, I think the majority of the time, if you were to place bets during those times, you're not you're gonna win three out of seven. You're fucked because like yeah, the odds yeah. are against you because like they they yeah their their algorithms obviously they know exactly how hey there's how many orders are in oh shit there's stop there's many there's this many orders it's the exactly. most the majority of stop losses are over here okay let's go bring it down like exactly and I noticed like, that yeah but I mean I my analysis were right and I knew that was gonna go up I, I saw it I saw it coming. Um, it's just my timing wasn't that great, you know. But I, but then I, but then again, yeah, what time was it though? What, what time? Uh, uh, that that was just that was yesterday's session. That was uh, the Asian oh, really? session. Oh no way! Oh, yeah, it was like around eight o'clock ish. My our time, my time. Oh okay, yeah, I was gonna say yeah, cause like I was talking. To, yeah, bro, there's so much volatility on 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 weekends during those times. Uh, during yeah, dude. The Asian session. Hey, so it's basically the Asian session coming on to the london session that's why there's so much volatility yeah exactly yeah well, yeah it happened like, actually it happened around 6 6 6 30 6 30 or so yeah oh, no after worries. we were off our, our zoom you know how you caught that short um yeah and then i was like okay cool now settling down it's giving me divergence okay let's go in i go in made some profits 
And then later on, zoom, it went down. And I was like, oh, shit, this is going to be the real move right here. Um, and yeah, sure thing. I just didn't want to catch it while I was like fucking going crazy, you know? Yeah. So I missed the catch and then it just kind of consolidated and boom again. And I, but I was like, when did cool, it go cool. up? So today at seven o'clock your time, that's 10 o'clock my time. Yeah, today at, today at like eight o'clock my time it went up. Oh, fuck, dude. Yeah. This was expected. We were talking about this yesterday. Yeah. Hey, but let's look. Hey, uh, Crypto Face's brother posted something about um, Flopping Roper. Yeah, he said something about. He said everyone, at ah, everyone, the April BTC monthly, but he didn't. He didn't post anything. Oh shit! He posted something. Oh damn. Oh, nice. oh damn! I didn't even see that. Hey Rob, you want? Hey, do you any guy? Hey Rob, you want to place those bets on your thing? Okay. The April BTC monthly hike in Ashikano closed bearish. BTC failed to overcome March highs and is now paying the Reaper. A red X is now flashing on the new May monthly candle. There's there's uh there's also been that massive blood diamond indication on the weekly chart since early April, which coincided with rejection of the yearly average. Overall, it looks pretty bearish, and I would look out for a retest of the yearly lows down to 32,900. Bitcoin has maintained higher lows on the macro, which is true, I saw that, um, which, has, which has kept bulls hopeful. But if a lower low does form, that would indicate a break in a long-term uh, market structure, which could send BC back down to rising uh, which could send BTC Bitcoin back down to the rising green accumulation line. <clears throat> okay, so rising green accumulation. I see here. Damn, that's like 15, 16, 20K. That's like around 20K. Oh, wait, no. It's like, yeah, it's like around 20, 20K, 25. It's not looking good at all, bro. Yeah. Overall, like larger time frames. Yeah. Looks looks yeah. Great times to accumulate, that's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah, I would say once it, if it goes down, bro, try to figure out to get on that uh you know, on that BTC. I'm telling you, bro, yeah. something that you yeah. should do. I don't think you should uh not do that. I think you should definitely get on that. Yeah, no, for real. Five, 10 years, you'll probably be like, oh, shit. <laughs> the only thing that sucks is that Bitcoin, I mean, I mean, keeping it. Oh, I mean, if it does, I mean, five, 10, it's a million dollars. If it's a million dollars, that's what? 30 times, three times 10, 30X. That's a 30X. 30X, yeah. Yeah, I want to do it. Well, I can do it with Bitcoin and with, with XRP as well. What yeah. as well? Yeah, XRP, I think, has a way more upside, but that doesn't mean... I mean that doesn't mean that you know i think a lot of other coins have i mean you can you, you go with a bunch of other coins too but i mean yeah obviously xrp is fucking i think yeah. that's the best, best choice but um best choice your mic sounds sounds a lot like crispier i don't know did you do something yeah, I, to it? uh yeah i changed the settings uh i changed the settings to a better setting nice yeah sounds good thank you sounds like crisp yeah because i changed the settings um and i am speaking clearly you know like very clear on it yeah yeah no, making sure that it's i different speak. Let's scare a little bit of people in the morning, you know, on the Sunday morning. <laughs> yeah. Pay attention. Yeah. That's, what, that's exactly what it's going to do. 
all the little, all the fucking crypto noobs are gonna cry right now. <laughs> oh my god, Bitcoin. Wait, what happened? Oh, damn. <laughs> it's all right there. So if you if you look at that, um I'm gonna post it right there. It seems pretty kind of spot on. What are you seeing? Yeah, let me see. Well, like if you if you just I just clicked on his his thing right now. His his chart analysis on here. It says that big mm-hmm. with the green accumulation line and it looks the same. Look right here. Um, you know, you got that crossover. You got the double top. Uh, double top crossover, double top crossover, and then it goes to the accumulation line. This one right here. Yeah, is around here, which is like around like I said, 16k right there, maybe around 16 20k. And if you you accumulate, if you trade Bitcoin and then you accumulate more on there, then that means that you're you're trading and it goes back up. That means you know, that means that your results are doubled if it goes double results. Yeah, yeah, because if you get it, if you're if you're accumulating at 20k, you know, you're meaning you're trading Bitcoin. And that's what you're accumulating, then um then yeah. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. The XRP, do you imagine if it goes to 10k? Or I mean, ten. Damn, bro. I know. Right. Yeah. So XRP already has that. You know, they're they're already working with a bunch of central banks, and um, there's some that we know, and some that they haven't said yet. What you know? But you imagine central banks, though, bro. Central you know, banks. They're central banks. You know, I mean, there's the ones that like are working with. These are like, these are the banks that work with, and they have the power over uh, the you know, like the, the money and wherever they're at. So whether if they're in Israel or Wherever it's, it's the main bank that controls everything. So like you know that that exactly. supplies all the money and kind of gives the gives the rules. That's yeah, fucking dude. powerful, That's bro. Powerful, yeah. Once um, well, we'll see because it was. I mean, Simpsons predicted it at three something, I believe. Five eighty nine. Oh yeah, five eighty nine, bro. Fuck. You imagine that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean they're normally spot on on their predictions. Yeah, they are. Let's see if you just have a thousand XRP times five eighty nine, six five hundred eighty nine thousand. <laughs> <laughs> that's insane, huh? Yeah. That's I, I say, bro. Like, okay, so I had like you know, you know, like say you know, like they like, um. Okay, yeah. Anyway, so I've been having like very good uh, stuff where you know, like intuition or whatever. I don't know, but like. You know, you know how you, you know, when you do your affirmations and all that stuff and all this, and, and you just kind of feel it coming. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. feel like this year, it's, I mean, it's your, but like this, yeah, this accumulation, or I feel like the strategy that I'm doing right now is going to get me really wealthy. Um, nice, bro. Nice. Uh, the XRP, you know what I mean? Like, or, or what you're doing with everything. Yeah, no, fuck, I believe so too, man. Yeah, I, I think what, what we're doing with everything 100%. Don't get me wrong. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like, um, like the YouTube stuff and all that stuff. But I, I'm thinking specifically, learning trading but um but like accumulating xrp something's telling XRP. me yeah yeah that this is the right thing to do and yeah accumulating the asset yeah and then trading the asset for... mm-hmm. very true i think i'm gonna take the spread for the bucks it's at eight right now Plus eight or yeah, plus eight, bro. Like God damn. I, I don't think they're gonna get blown out. If anything, that's really good because they Celtics they have, and yeah, I, they're not gonna lose by eight. It started at uh four uh uh my uh four point five. So and damn plus eight. Right 
Oh my god! But it's yeah. only the first so do do so so quarter, bro. But... Yeah, so they just can't lose by eight. So the spread is one is eight plus eight right now. Plus eight, yeah. That's not. That's. I mean, the okay. the team. The, it's again. There's always runs where they come back. Should but we take it? I, I don't know. But um, I know for a fact that these dudes are not going to lose by by more than eight. But I, I want to see if it goes up more. And uh-huh. I rather I rather it go up to like let's have say have a better chance to where it goes to ten, and that right there would be that would be really good to nice. take. Look at the, so look at what I have, bro. I have a I have the parlay that you gave me: the Yankees, Padres, Nationals plus money, or Arizona Diamondbacks plus Cincinnati Reds plus Detroit Tigers plus dude Detroit Tigers plus two ten, bro. Um. Yeah. No, I saw that. that um let me big, big money's on it too um yeah no i saw a lot of people are are on that but i don't know if they'll be able to win just because they just won yesterday bro they're not they win, right? i don't think they'll they'll, they'll win they'll, again no and then the pitcher that's pitching sucks for the tigers damn that's yeah they they i mean i mean it can happen but i really doubt it because the dodgers pitcher is way better than the 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 tigers and again yes. they already pulled the rug yesterday bro there's no way that they'll pull it twice that they'll pull it twice the the dodgers are like way too good of a team for that to happen that'd be like too sus yeah the picks you, you picked yesterday uh Esteban, no, they're good picks huh hey look at they're gonna it's about a break um yeah well, uh, two of them hey bro two of them won two of them lost but the ones that won um i uh had a <clears throat> hey, yeah, here, watch here. Uh, yeah, they had plus money, so I ended up making more money. I, I made twenty five bucks on top, so that's why I started. That's why I'm just gonna stick with it. I'm just gonna stick with like, um, like if you know, like uh, just to play with the money, you know, bro. I'm just gonna test yeah. it out. And I'm like, what I did, like, I just go, hey, watch, bro. I just go right here. I mean, I'm sure that it's, you know, I don't know. I, that way, it can just be, be easier for me because, like, I don't want to make this tough for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want sports betting be hard and i don't want to think at all about this actually I just want to look uh, at this. they 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 say that if you're gonna like stick with underdogs then you should just stick with the, like you know that that game plan and usually you do pretty all right for yourself when you do that when you go with that with that game plan yeah, and that strategy. model and that model yeah to watch look at watch pirates <clears throat> well look I, I chose the pirates uh there why because it's plus money you got you got um you got uh you got all the sharpshooters big money and everybody's on them you know so and the, mm-hmm. and eighty seven percent of the bets are going against them. So I was like, okay, see, so I'm I'm gonna go with them. This one right here, that one, that one, that one they won all the part. Uh... Well, oh yeah. So the entire see, this is why I chose them, Rob, because like, you know, I'm sure. I mean, who knows? I'm pretty sure they're not gonna they're not gonna win. But look, twelve percent. Um, where's that? Oh, thirteen percent of the bets. Only thirteen. So thirteen out of hundred people. Have fifty percent or more, have fifty seven percent of the money on on there. That's kind of weird. Like, why yeah, are that might be some insider shit? You know what I mean? On Pirates, yeah. Padres, because like if you think about it, insiders. Or anyways, look at this. Thirteen percent of people have more than half the money up. I don't know. To me, that seemed a little bit weird. So I went with them. And um, these are for today. Yeah, and then Nationals. I went with them because all of them are plus money basically. But you know, thir- you know. Same thing over here. You know, 18% of the money is putting up 35% and money's again going against them. So I went with them, you know, and fuck mm-hmm. it. And then I went with Reds. I only put a little bit of money in there because it's plus money and 9% of the, and they're, yeah, like it's, that one I might lose it, but whatever. Reds against Rockies. Because um, only that, yeah. So I just wanted to do a little tester on that one, but um, I, I only put 15 bucks on it. But my goal is, you know, shit, maybe I play six, seven, and six bets, five or six bets, and out of all of them, I end up making a little bit at the end, you know? Yeah, I know. That's all that matters. So that's kind of, I just do it that way. That way I have, I don't have to think. And I'm just, you know, just. Damn, I should have took it. What happened? It's going down. Yeah, it already went down. They already came came back. They're at, set, oh, yeah, it's five and a half points now. That's whack, huh? Yeah. 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 But oh, wait, it's it's not, half, bro. There's, always, there's always runs, huh? Oh, Never mind. yeah. I, I don't. I'm just trying to figure out like what they're gonna do. I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna like bet on it bet on because it. I just want to see like what they're what the what they're where they're trying to go with the market. It's mm-hmm. like the first game, so I don't. I don't really want to mess with it. To be honest with you, I already. Oh, okay. I've learned my lessons already. Nice. 
That's some fucking learning lessons there. Sure, we should yeah, we should put uh create a you know you know on all of our notes all the lessons you put lessons of a lessons of a sports trader you know what I'm saying um yeah yeah I, think, I do I think, I think what I'm saying is that we should document everything that we're doing because um look watch look look Rob you see the strategy I told you another one like when I put the line up see how it's going up and you see how it's starting to break Rob yeah yeah it's starting to break so mm-hmm. I wait for it to break bro and then it'll go like yeah. And then it'll go right here to the fifty percent, like fifty percent of the line, of where it normally went up. So, so it usually always does that. Always, bro. Always, 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 always. You could even do it right here. You you can see them all happening right here. They go to the fifty percent, three point two, or fifty percent. So you short right here, and you just take your money out from right here. Here, these two lines. That's the one that I was using, uh, Johnny, and, and yeah. that's the one that I was using before I was doing the other one. Remember before I was like, damn, I'm getting a lot of high hit rates on this shit. Yeah, yeah. Before, I, you know, fill in the wicks. Um, uh-huh. That was like two weeks ago. I was doing this one. And this one was because we're in a selling environment. So I had to wait for the impulse. I wait for the correction, which is going up. And uh-huh. wait for a retest. And that's the one I was doing. And I was getting a massive amount of hit, rate, hit rates on it. So I'm going to get that one. Nice. So, yeah. But I have my strategy too here, guys. Like, I, I posted that one too. I, I posted how. I post, yeah. So I have it on that on that one sheet. Um, so yeah, this is this is uh, I'm I'm not gonna. The thing is though, is I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trade in unless it's the sessions. Even though I know I can make money on it, even though I know this is gonna happen, it's already breaking my line. Even though I know that this is gonna go and go around to at least three eight two or the five. Yeah, we'll see. Right, you'll see. I'm not gonna trade it though, because right, because we have to stick to the stick to the plan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because yeah, you know, like Raja, you know, he gets inter- he gets interviewed a lot, or he has a lot of interviews, and uh, on like you know, and and I realized that the ones that have all these complicated systems and do all this complicated shit, yeah, they tend to not have that many people, and not that many people all over them, you know, unless they have massive results, unless they have massive results. But crypto face is super simple. He keeps it simple as fuck. He even talks about his basic strategy of what he does. Exactly, yeah. Massive results. He gets so he has a lot of hits. Raja, super simple, has massive results. And when they and when he, he always talks about is like when I started only making one or two trades a day, managing my risk and focusing on as as if my you know on not losing money. Mm-hmm. And even if I saw a good trade, anything, if I didn't, if, if as soon as, he said the most powerful thing he did was focusing on only one to two trades a day on right. the time where his, where there, there's the most money. So it's like, you know, we, you know, like if that's what he keeps on saying, that's, that's, that's what he keeps on saying. Yeah. It's like, okay. Cause that's it's, the hardest you know, thing to do. Right. Yeah. It is pretty hard. It's, it's hard to do hard because to do. like, yeah. Cause it's like, you, that's what you can like FOMO, you know, you're like, fuck, I missed yeah. out on that. You know? Yeah, dude. But, so that's the secret, you know, shit. Like, because isn't it hard, bro? Like, I, like I had a fucking. It is, man. It is hard, especially when you're like, oh, dude, I see something. Caught. You see it moving, or you see, you know, you want to just. You want to catch it. You want to catch it exactly, but then you're like, no, you know, control. That's why my one of my affirmations says, my trading affirmations. Nice. Um. Let's say. Well, one of them is obviously says, I do not rush into trades, you know? <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah. And I never trade based on emotions, is another one. Oh, that's, um, good. that's good. Uh, I am calculated and analytical. And I only trade when the price chart structure and fundamentals are right. I have patience, discipline, and focus. So I have to, you know, I'm just kind of, it's just programmed in me. Like, yeah, no, 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 I can tell. No, that's good, man. That's yeah. Good. yeah. Just kind of restrain myself and rushing into trades because. It fucks you up. No, messes you up. Yeah, and the the weird thing that is is that even if it doesn't fuck you up and you make money on it, it's even worse because then it it's just, even worse. Yeah, and also, it, yeah, because yeah. I'll, I'll throw you off and you get greedy and you're like, fuck it. Yeah, it reinforces that bad habit. Exactly. exactly. <clears throat> yeah, true that. So best thing to do is just take a step back, analyze. Okay, no, what? Okay, what can I do now to catch the next move? You know. Yeah. One thing that or, one thing that's helped me a lot is 
um, wait till the candle closes. Because I wasn't waiting. Okay. I would go in and that should fuck me up. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like we're probably going to get a nice fucking retest on this. Yeah, that's for sure. We're probably going to get a nice retest. And, and there's a fat wick right there if this closes. Oh, no, we got 20 more minutes. And I walk out and my car is dented. Well, God helps us off a 24 7 train service with personalized. Here's the next zone and we can short the fuck. Because I, 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 yeah, uh, XRP's monthly closed at a. Uh... Oh, okay, good. Because I took an online quiz and it turns out I'm an introvert. Huh. Oh, I actually think I'm an introvert. Too. Oh, no, it's incredibly rare. Oh, yeah, this monthly candle right here, mm -hmm. it closed beneath all candles to the left side. That we're on oh, yeah. support, yeah. yeah. So uh, that tells me is that we're gonna fill the wick at fifty-one cents. True that. And I don't think XRP is the only one that's gonna go down. I think it's gonna be all of them. <laughs> These bigger candles give you so much better assurance. They do. They're time on. Like yeah, I'm on the monthly, and it's like oh shit, you know, if you use the same. Down, up, retest. Oh, yeah, dude. I, I def, what? Bitcoin definitely seems like it's going to be going down. It does. Yeah, definitely. At least, oh, yeah, he said he said that same thing. Look, to 32K. It does, because look, yeah. this monthly candle broke beneath all of these ones right here. All of them, yeah, so I'm looking at right now. All we would need is a retest to like 40K or let's see, or maybe that already happened. <clears throat> no, there has to be a retest. This is a massive candle. Or, oh, let's see. Okay, so here's one massive candle. This Bitcoin right here. And then it retested to almost a 382. And then went back down. Damn. Yeah, retested to 382. Where's the 382 from this candle? 382 is at 42,000. 42,000, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Forty two thousand is is a uh, volume note, high volume note, high volume note, and and then also um, it's it's where it, it was stuck for a while, and then it broke through it, and then it's going to bounce off. For, like it's it's just a strong, it's been a strong strong area. Looks, you know? like it already, looks like it already retested it. Yeah. <clears throat> is that, there's a forty two right there. Who knows? It might come back again. This, this is might. They, they do this. Is this where you learned it from watching the <clears throat> Might take out all the shorts above here. Yeah. For that. The stop losses that are shorted over here. Damn, crypto is up for, is going to get shit to do. We're, oh my God. <clears throat> We're going to have very good opportunities to buy and make, you know, make a lot of money. Yeah, buy low. <clears throat> I got a follower from uh from my from my YouTube. Oh really? My Instagram, yeah. Nice. From your Instagram? Yeah. Uh, like a subscriber, you, you mean? No, no. Uh, I got someone that's like a uh, some. It's because they're they're from Middle East, bro. So I'm getting like Middle Eastern. Um, uh, Middle East. That's because that's because oh. that's that's because you look Middle Eastern, bro. Probably. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Uh, dude, Bernie thought you were Middle Eastern, bro. Oh, I'm sure, dude. <laughs> Esteban Shabazz. You know what, too, though? 
I, well, first off, I love Middle Eastern. So if you're Middle Eastern, I'm sure you're Middle Eastern and you're looking at this video because, you know. <laughs> hey, they're beasts, though. They're freaking yeah, they're, beasts, though. They're beasts. And, like, I think that, like, they don't, like, I think they're, they're beasts, looking though. for opportunities, like, in the crypto market, too. Yeah, for sure. A lot of my followers I get on on on, on my bigger Instagram account are uh -huh. Middle Eastern, too. Funny, dude. Yeah, a lot of them. A lot of my viewers, like new ones too. Yeah, I think it's getting bigger over there. Something is having to happen. Yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. Damn, look at if you look at thirty two k. There's a there's probably so much liquidity under here. So much, bro. I wouldn't doubt it if it if it, if it went down there. Bro, it has to go down there. Yeah. Dude, look at this massive short from 40 43. Dude, uh, probably five people probably died on that short. Literally. Yeah. That's massive, wow. dude. And it's like, it's like, it's like, they didn't even pause or nothing. You know, it looks like it just kept going down. Yeah, dude. Like, I'm excited for these next shorts to come because I know they're going to come. Yeah, that's for sure. For XRP, you, I have like a level at like 62 cents where they're going to probably go. Or... There's probably so many people that are quitting crypto trading right now. <laughs> and it's always the ones that want to get rich quick. For real. They think they can trade their way to riches. And it's like, dude, you don't even know. You're going to get destroyed. That shit, that shit must be a hard thing. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, being able to think that in, like, trading must be insane. You must be fucking out of your mind. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Like, fuck that. Yeah, I get I think there's a lot of people that, uh, that, <clears throat> that, um, that think that, bro. You know, and, and I'm telling you, it's all in these poor countries. It's in the poor countries. Yeah, because they want to, they obviously want to make the fast money because of their current situation, obviously. Yeah, it's all, it's all I'm saying, bro. Like, uh, like, and shit, bro. I mean, people take advantage of that, you know what I'm saying? As in, like, marketers and salespeople, you know? Oh, yeah, bro. They make money off these guys, you know? Fuck. Yeah, like, they, they pitch, like, oh, yeah, you get rich. Fuck, the fuck. No, like, oh, that guy, oh, he's a cool, that cool kid here. You know what I mean? He's, he's very, uh, outspoken. The guy, the guy that on our, on our, uh, on this gentleman right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The mirror. Um, yeah, I was trying to tell him, like, yeah, dude, like, it's not easy, bro. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Remember he, remember he said, uh, I think yesterday he said, hey, like, should we long it and wait for a couple of days? Uh, bro, if you would have longed it, you're, you would have been liquidated. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you would have been liquidated, bro, for sure. Because you know, let you know, uh, you, you know, they use leverage, and well, all the majority of traders that just are newly, all of them use leverage. None of them, yeah, not use leverage. And, and they use yeah, because they see the return is like a lot more than their their capital if yeah. they don't leverage it. So then they're gonna be like, oh shoot, I can make more money. <laughs> yeah, I think he was twenty. I think when he was posting his stuff, he was uh he was twenty xing leverage right here. Look, watch for real. Uh, derivatives. I, think, I don't know if it was right here. Yeah, right here. Forty-five x leverage. No. Yeah. Holy shit, bro! These these fools got balls. Forty-five <laughs> <laughs> x. Fuck. I don't even use that. Do you imagine if they have leverage in sports trading? That means that you could like, if you have a thousand, that means you can bet with forty-five grand. <laughs> Seriously, huh? Fuck. You should have leverage in sports betting. It'll make so much more money. Get all the noobs out. Make yeah, so true that. <laughs> see, see, this is a perfect wick fill right here, bro. You got this wick down here. It has uh -huh. to retest. It has to retest. Boom. Next ones are going to wick fill this next week. So in May, for sure, we're going down at 51 cents. Perfect market structure. See on this weekly right here, all this massive wick down. If you go to the smaller time frames, all it is, mm -hmm. is market structure up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah, yeah, true that. 
Have you checked out that course? Yeah, I was checking some of it out. It's pretty dope. Nice, bro. Yeah. Okay. But if it doesn't go with your strategy, then because I, mean, like, I, I, what I want to encourage is you to stick to your strategy, and then that's it. No matter what, you know. No matter what, yeah. Even if, yeah. Even if another strategy comes out, that's a fucking a trillion percent hit rate. Then it's like, okay, you're just changing strategies, you know. Yeah. Yeah. True. I'm sticking with the workflow because like, uh, and, and, and I haven't even done these, bro. I haven't done my own strategy, which is this one, the break of, you know, uh, impulse correction, break of correction, retest, wait for the one bar to go down and short or, or long. And, and that's one that I was doing, but I'm, I have it on my sidelines. I have mm-hmm. it there, but I'm sticking with the workflow. Yes. Yeah, that breaker block got filled in already. Yeah. Man, people are probably waking up to their shorts being not having <laughs> no more shorts, literally, on them. They're naked. Seriously. Seriously, huh? Damn. Yeah, yeah. Is there any sports betting movies, bro? Uh, just look it up right now. Probably is. I'm sure there is. I, I'm. I looked some. I'm pretty sure that I saw that there was some. Color of money. Yeah, hey, Rob, do you know what settings do you have your microphone on? Or do you have it on you? Oh, yeah, it's right there. So watch. What happened? Yeah, the there's two. You see how there's two buttons on the back? Not the ones on the front. The ones on the front are... Yeah, what about it? Those those on the back, it, it, the, the bottom button, it says pattern. Okay. Do you, what, where is the line pointing to? The, it's the on score. the second one. It's on the second one? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I think that I think that one gets I think that one gets your voice from all over. You see how it's a circle? Mm-hmm. I think it gets noise everywhere. So if you want, if you're speaking, like, see, I'm speaking on mine, like, it kind of like. Okay, so which one is it? Go to go to one. The one that I have on is all in the back. Go to switch it to all the way on the right. All right, there. I think it's. But if, but if there's if there's. I think there should be. I think I don't know. There's one bro that has it all the way, just so you only get on the front. So if you have, well, I think that I think that sounds better. I'm not hearing your TV as much. Yeah, I switched it already. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Hey, these are these are nice though, man. Yeah, they're dope. I right? like, it. like the yeah, I like the, it. The, the buttons all nice and hard. Okay, two for the money. What's going to happen with this second quarter? Eight men out. Sports betting is associated with the game fixing and throwing out. Smart money. This is Wall Street. Mean, mean streets, Wall Street, whatever. Money. <laughs> It looks like sports betting or betting was big back in the days too. Yeah, it's been popping for quite some time. It's like a fucking tree in the in the in the fucking dark ages back in the days, you know. <laughs> betting on fucking horses or whatever, chickens. <laughs> uh, what you said you had a parlay. What parlay do you have? Um, that's what. Robert, which one is it? You which one is it? Uh, it's the first five uh, Padres and the Yankees. You just want to put it together for the money line. Oh, nice, nice. So you can probably put it on on your on your channel too. Probably fucking because if they, if they hit, you know, the more. Yeah, I think I don't know. I'm I'm like very um, what is it called? Superstitious. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'll do it. I'll do it after. For yeah, I'm just like very su- superstitious for some weird reason. That's not good, man. It does limit you. 
Yeah. You have superpowers, bro. <laughs> hey, yeah. no, you're not super. Hey, bro, you see. If so anything, you jinx your own stuff by thinking that way, you know? Super bitches, bro. Oh, damn. You're getting super bitches over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want all the. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want all the bitches. I just want uh, all the ones with daddy. daddy. I think it's like, it's just like a lot of people like that play sports. Having the people that play sports. It's always been like that. Yeah, that's, know, that's true, though. That's true, though. That's true. That's kind of weird, though, huh? Yeah, if you if you play sports, it's something that it, it's just it's something that you just go by. I don't. It's just I, I guess it's just you just have it programmed in your brain or something. Yeah. The three the three eight two fib is placed directly on on the previous resistance levels, probably support now. So I think we're gonna get shorted. <laughs> 